graduate of uh, degrees in physics and materials engineering. And today I'm a researcher in the Department of Electrical Engineering because I want to harness all the cool physics and materials that I learned along the way and make practical devices out of this. What we're learning more and more is that materials that are very interesting and exotic for logic devices are also very interesting for uh, energy-related de devices, for uh, energy conversion uh, and other energy applications, and vice versa. Projects that have started as catalysts for energy conversion are finding interesting applications in electronic devices. In the oxide electronic groups, we work with two hands. With one hand, we develop uh, very exotic uh, electronic materials which are made of oxides. They can be semiconducting, they can be conducting, they can be insulating. We engineer them and we learn, we study their fundamental physics. With the other hand, we develop new type of devices that leverage the unique properties of the materials that we study. So we combine the fundamental with the applied. And the combination goes for electronic devices and for renewable energy devices, for conversion of energy and other applications. We employ an oxide molecular beam epitaxy system that grows atomically precise thin films of oxides. This is a very unique capability with a special infrastructure from the Technion, from the energy program, and it's a single of its kind in the Middle East. And the really unique capability, and this is where the energy part uh, is more relevant, is we can combine these exotic oxide materials directly on top of conventional semiconductors. So you can put a catalyst directly on a solar cell and then use the sunlight to split water into hydrogen. One of the capabilities that we have here that is very unique is by uh, engineering the materials in thin, atomically thin films, we can uh, create and stabilize new phases that do not exist anywhere in the universe. And then whatever electronic properties that we can extract from them are new and exciting because there were never such materials on the, uh, in the universe, not only on the face of the Earth. This instrument was purchased with the partial support of uh, GTEP. They really helped me start up here. But more than the resources, it's the environment, the multidisciplinary environment. This is also giving me a global visibility and I get calls for collaborations from people abroad. So it's a very fertilizing environment and it keeps uh, opening uh, our minds to new possibilities and new prospects. <laughs>